the method that we used had him back on the field literally in four days. Hi there, it's Misha. You guys, today I'm going to help you with your hip flexor. Um, the thing I'm going to teach you, the method that I'm going to teach you, it goes for any soft tissue injury. But today we're just focusing on that hip flexor. Just a couple of weeks ago, this happened to my son. My son's a soccer player. Soccer players use their hips a ton, right? Um, and he had a crazy soft tissue injury that had him literally out of the game. So the injury happened when he was playing. He actually heard a noise, so that's never good. And it left him limping. It was severe enough that when I was sitting next to him um, and we were at an event together, he had to actually pick up his leg to move it. He couldn't, he didn't have the power in his hip. It was disabled. So he couldn't even like pick up his leg and move his leg. So it was hurt pretty bad, right? He was totally out of the game. Um, the method that we used had him back on the field literally in four days. It was still tight and sore for about a week, but it had him back on the field. So if you guys, if you guys need that quick healing, these tips will really, really help you out. Okay, so let me tell you what the protocol is. Okay. Okay, so there's four main things that we did to really help his situation. The first thing that we did was use comfrey. And comfrey is just an herb that you can buy at the health food store. You can just buy it a loose leaf, like that. And comfrey is referred to as the knit bone herb. I've used this many times on injuries and it has seriously not, it's not steered me wrong. So here's the method of what you do for, to use the comfrey. You pour some dried comfrey into a bowl. Cover with boiling water, but just barely, okay? Just barely, barely covering it. Just enough to kind of reconstitute the herb. And you're gonna smash it with a pestle or the back of a wooden spoon. Then you're gonna pour off the excess water. Mix in a few tablespoons of flour and mix it really, really well. It'll kind of mix into a paste. Then you're gonna place the mixture into a nylon and tie it off. I like to tie it off at the end, not right by the comfrey so that it's not um, close to like a bone if they were laying on it and it's not gonna be like uncomfortable. Then you take this and you place it on the hip flexor. and you wrap it in plastic wrap. I know that's kind of getting like a little bit personal, but just help them out, maybe turn your head while they kind of wrap themselves. And then you also use an elastic bandage to kind of keep everything in place. You sleep with it like that overnight. So I recommend mixing a fresh batch each time before you apply it. And I use comfrey for intense bruises, strains and sprains, and even breaks, okay? It's a fantastic remedy. Okay, we did the comfrey at night, in the nighttime, and then in the morning what we do is we put on something called DMSO, okay? And this is a product that really helps reduce free radicals and it allows the area to be rid of the inflammation so that it can heal, okay? So nighttime comfrey, daytime DMSO. One more thing about the DMSO, um, we buy the 90%, okay? And it's kind of, that's kind of an extra strength. If you find that your skin is a little bit sensitive with the DMSO, then you can just put a little bit of aloe vera on the skin or fractionated coconut oil before you put the DMSO on the skin, and that should help with the sensitivity. Okay, the third method that we did, that we used, was is something that's called fascia, fascia rolling. And when I say fascia rolling, fascia rolling is not that Ashley Black, you know, kind of crazy looking thing. That thing is terrible for you. <laughs> like, if you have one, throw it away. <laughs> Those things are awful. They're really, really bad for you. Get rid of it. So it's not, it's not the Ashley Black thing, and it's, it's, it's a roller, but it's miles different than a foam roller. It's not the same thing. True fascia rolling, okay, the, the fascia roller is actually quite hard, and it is done on the same level as acupuncture. Your fascia actually goes all the way through your body, and when you roll it, it forces, like your fascia holds four gallons of water, proteins, and collagen, and when you roll your fascia, you're forcing all of that through your body. Think of it like, think of it like a flowing river versus a stagnant river. When you really get your fascia, when you really take care of your fascia and you get all of your fascia rolled out, your body becomes and, and functions more like a flowing river. Think of it like forcing lifeblood into the injury so that it can heal faster. So for the fascia rolling, you roll 
you don't roll the injury, but you roll everywhere else in the body and then you kind of get that flowing. For more information on fascia, you can click here or you can click in the, in the description below and I'll put a link to another video. Um, I'll also put a link where you can find fascia rollers and they come with instructions on how to roll and how to do that. Like with my son, when he was injured, he couldn't, he couldn't even pick up his leg, that, that particular leg, and, and roll it properly. Like I kind of had to be the hands-on on that leg. He rolled everywhere else, but he kind of needed, he, he couldn't move. So he just needed a little bit of help with that fascia rolling. You guys, I swear by fascia rolling. I have done it every single week for years now, and I think it keeps me young, it keeps me okay, healthy, gonna... and it corrects injuries. It's really amazing stuff. Okay guys, the fourth thing that we did, we're back in business here, the fourth thing that we did was chiropractic care. So many times, soccer players' hips are off, okay, because of the way that they use their hips so much. And you can actually see it. When you lay flat on your back, either the heels don't line up or the feet fall at different angles. Consistently doing yoga or getting adjusted can help prevent that. In the case of injury, getting adjusted allows you to make sure that the hips are aligned so that the injury has the space that it needs to heal. Because the hips are off, it's putting added strain on the injury, then it's gonna have a lot harder time healing. So that's one of the key elements to healing. Now chiropractors can be tricky because some chiropractors, honestly, they really don't even really know what they're doing. It drives me so crazy. Like people will go in and they'll just pop them from head to toe and they'll say, you're adjusted, see you later. Um, so what I would do is recommend getting a referral from someone asking around. And I also recommend seeking a chiropractor who uses the Gonstead method. The Gonstead method kind of states, we don't fix it unless if it's broken. So they're not gonna come in and just crack you everywhere. They're just going to look at the area that's that's having trouble and they're going, they're going to address it. And then they're gonna fix it and you're done. <laughs> So looking for a chiropractor who uses this method is really helpful in determining who you should see. Okay, that is all four of the methods that we use to help my son get back on the soccer field quickly. I hope this information is super helpful to you and that you heal quickly. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below. And if you're big into sports, then you might enjoy the method that we use for sore muscles. Um, I'll leave the link to the video for sore muscles here and in the description below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and make sure that you're subscribed and following along for all things to help you live happy and be inspired. See you guys later.